Welcome to Firearms of America. Today, as you guys can see, I'm out here at our Church of Fire property about to do the review of another Beretta. Yes, and in fact, this Beretta I actually reviewed uh, just last week. And the reason why I am reviewing it again is because this Beretta, which is by the way, the courtesy of Dietrich. Dietrich, thank you very much for sending me this. I really appreciate it. And uh, with that being said, I want to mention that I am a registered FFL. So if any of you guys, any of you viewers, subscribers want to send me your gun for a review, you can definitely do that. Yes, I will pay for the shipping. I will uh, clean it up and I promise I'm not going to sell it at the Arabian black market. But today I have this uh, beautiful, beautiful 96 Brigadier yet again. And the reason why I'm reviewing it yet again is because this Beretta actually underwent a uh, caliber change. Yes, so uh, it is actually technically a trans Beretta. And now, instead of being called Beretta, it wants to be called Beret. Okay, that's a <laughs> enough with the stupidity. Seriously though, I uh, heard a lot, quite a lot, and I'm sure you, I mean, if you're interested in firearms, you probably heard that too, that uh, convos, conversions for the barrels, from 40 to 9 specifically and uh, probably there's there, there are other ones but uh, a lot of good things about those conversions why because um, well because they shoot flatter why do they shoot flatter well because the barrels end up being heavier because now they have to be thicker it's the same size barrel only on the inside it is thicker to accommodate the same 40 Smith & Wesson so maybe if it makes sense but let's do uh, some shooting and uh, we'll see if it's really the case, if it's worth it, if it makes sense. And uh, today I will be shooting now, last, last, uh, when was it? I think last Friday, we're shooting 40 Smith & Wesson. Now I'm shooting nine millimeters, so I'm back to my uh, good old MacTac. Can't go wrong with MacTac. Always, uh, always reliable ammo. It's uh, probably one of the cheapest on the market whenever it comes to a decent, decent, uh, range ammo just regular fmj nothing crazy uh and this one is 115 grain 115 grain so yes i switched from 124 that's what i usually been shooting to 115 and uh haven't had any problems so far so what does uh involve or include what is included what is involved in a caliber change well a few things uh, if it is uh, possible to do it, and you can do it, as you can see on, on this Beretta, obviously 92 FS, I don't think they have 40 Smith & Wesson, but you can definitely do it on the Glock. That's the first thing that I heard, uh, just getting your standard, for example, you know, Glock 35, chambered in 40 Smith & Wesson, you get that uh, barrel that is a 9mm, not a regular 9mm because it's obviously thinner, but the same thickness as the 40 Smith & Wesson, only on the inside it is thicker. So it gives you a heavier barrel than the regular 9mm barrel. I hope that makes sense. All right. So as you can see, got uh, some nice targets down there. Now I will be aiming at this little uh, thing right there. <laughs> Target. Okay. So hopefully everything goes well. So besides the barrel, obviously, as you would imagine, one of the other things that you need to do is uh change the magazines as well because obviously the uh you know the nine millimeter round is not going to work in your 40 smith and west magazine so we got the nine millimeter uh magazine here nine millimeter conversion barrel conversion barrel i don't know why it's so hard to pronounce but let's see what the thing can do wait a second was there recoil I don't think I noticed the recoil. Let's see. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Dietrich, I think you're gonna like it. So, uh, I don't know if you can notice the recoil on the video, but I don't feel the recoil literally at all. And, uh, Obviously, nothing is in there, so don't worry about it. And there's nobody here, so I'm all by myself, so there's, I'm not pointing it at anyone. But here's what I mean when I say it is thicker than the standard um, 9 millimeter barrel. So check this out. The size of the barrel right now 
here is actually 40 Smith and Wesson, so it fits just exactly the same way as the 40 Smith and Wesson barrel. All right, but if you look on the inside of the barrel, and uh, hopefully my camera does a good job at focusing, and you can actually see the inside of the barrel here, it's actually much thicker. So it gives you a heavier barrel, obviously extra weight with less recoil. And because this is Brigadier, I think this is, I think this is meant for to be a Trans Beretta, okay? Why? Because Brigadier, like I mentioned in my uh, original review of this uh, Beretta 96, it's actually beefier slide. So you have heavier slide, now you have a heavier barrel. So yeah, expect uh, no recoil. I wanna do some more shooting because it's absolutely fantastic. And uh, also, also obviously as you go with uh, a nine millimeter magazine instead of a 40 Smith & Wesson, now you have some extra rounds. So in this, now you have a 17 capacity. Yes, 17 capacity. Now we talk, now we're getting serious. So I'm gonna put some more, uh, rounds in this thing and uh, actually you know what maybe I will uh, maybe I'll even do some uh, room clearing and training over here because it is really a lot of fun to shoot this bread I mean it is a lot of fun to shoot this bread but put my uh, not put my glasses just yet because with my glasses I cannot see my camera so I'll put this on and uh, you're gonna hear me hitting the target if I do hit it, but uh, I will be <laughs> I will be coming out of there because that's uh, necessary. So I'm coming out of here. Yeah, it should be fine. Not hit the camera. Okay. So. is fun to shoot so it definitely passed the uh, reliability test definitely passed the recoil test and uh, now I know for sure why a lot of competition shooters they prefer to do these conversions all on their uh, barrels uh, that's where I well, that's where I heard it from Mr. Cody, he's a, a competition shooter, so he always, always talk about those conversions between the 40 Smith and Wesson and the 9 millimeter because it just becomes a so much flatter shooting pistol. It's just <laughs> no joke. So, uh, if you were interested to watch the original review of this uh, Beretta 96 Brigadier before the uh, caliber change, yes, before it became a trans Beret. <laughs> Check it out, it is uh, uploaded on the channel. Uh, if you found this video useful, please consider subscribing, although I don't know how useful it might be, probably not useful at all. But if you do want to send me your gun, you can definitely do that once again. A reminder, I'm an FFL. Uh, got uh, our own range out here, so I can shoot here all day, review your guns and uh, send it back and pay for the shipping and clean it up, and lubricate it and do some micro gunsmithing. If, uh, if you need me to. Uh, so thank you very much for sticking around. Uh, always appreciate your time. If you have any requests for reviews or whatever kind of videos, let me know in the comments below as always. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you all and I'll see ya in the next video.